Hey everybody, welcome back to the Underground Lair. We have a Martin 000 series. Um, one of their pre, I guess, pre war reissues. I'm not sure exactly if that those words are right, but uh, crafted in Nazareth, Pennsylvania. Buddy had a back bow on it. I did an adjustment with a truss rod and I uh, want to pass on here. You see my uh, truss rod wrench for Martin. It's a five millimeter. It goes way in the hole here. And so you don't ding up your strings. I put some heat shield. I don't know if you can see that there. There's some heat shield that starts right here and goes up here so that when you're in there you can move the strings and you're not going to ding up your strings. Top tip. Okay, so let's take a look at this thing. Beautiful good guitar, new guitar. Bought off of a dealer in New York. And uh, no sharp fret ends. Let's see here. Microphone's up here. If you hear that, that's the really scratchy frets which I'm kind of surprised. Maybe they did that because of what they were trying to emulate. But we're going to polish up the frets. This fingerboard is extra dry. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So I'm going to attempt to not burn these strings. Buddy just put a set of these on. These are the... Um, uh, I'll get it for you. But they're the old-fashioned, uh, old-timey Martin strings. And so we're going to try not to burn a set of these. I think that's going to give us, yeah, that's going to give us enough room. Let's throw a capo on here. Right over that first. Or right right behind the first fret. Pull the strings to give us a little bit of slack. There. Now we can pull these pins out. String height measures 6 64s And 564 at the 12th fret, which is right where I want it. Actually, it's it's slightly less than 664. So I don't have to do anything with the saddle. We're just going to clean this up a bit. Notice I'm taking these pins off, even though it's a new guitar. I'm taking the pins out in the order that they're in there. Just pull the strings out. We do have another set in case. In case we burn them. So let's put them off to the side. Find ourselves a fret protector. It works for this size uh, fret wire. And I think that might be it. Let's see if I got one that's a little closer. I got one that's a lot smaller. Let's see. I don't like that kind. This is the one. Yeah. Or 1500. 1500 micro mesh. And that's just going to knock off some of the. Residue. It's not like a major fresh fret polish. It's just knocking the tarnish off. Then we're going to buff it up to. Let's see, it'll be 18, it'll be 24, it'll be 32, 36. 
and 4,000 and 6,000. Okay, well, that way whenever you're bending, you won't feel the grittiness of the frets. So you can see how nice and shiny those frets turned out and how much better the fingerboard looks now that it has some oil rubbed into it. And it expels what it doesn't need. So we're putting the strings back on, in, on. Using the uh, pins same way I put some um, guitar grease <coughs> excuse me put some guitar grease on the in the nut slots to help us tuning stability. Man, nice and smooth now, I'll tell you what. Okay, it appears to be we are in tune. Let's go ahead and check where our relief is. 7th fret, 10th thou. Three, five, seven. That just sneaking in there. It's a, maybe a hair less than ten thou. But let's see if there is any string buzz. <laughs> So I think we're going to call this done. Just to recount what we did here, we polished the frets, oiled the fingerboard, oiled the bridge, and we let off about a, a third of a turn of the truss rod, lefty loosey, because it had a backbone to it. Now it has a little bit of a um, under bow. I wonder where I was to do this at the body joint, how much difference it would be. It would be less, definitely, but still. Lifting it up a little bit. We'll see what it looks like in the morning, and if it's not um, relieved a little bit from, you know, the, the neck has got us set away and it spent time without strings on it, um, then we'll release the truss rod just a skosh. And that's easy to do because whenever you're releasing it, you're 
letting tension off the neck so you don't have to go screwing with your loosening all your strings and tightening tuning them back up again basically you're going to release the truss rod and then retune slightly I want to thank you guys for joining us down here in the underground lair as we uh, made this Martin just a little better um, if you gained anything out of this video please hit the like and the subscribe and the bell for notifications I certainly would appreciate it take care of the old folks because they are special love your neighbor like you love yourself and most of all you have yourselves a good night